a blessing is in store for you and always for me to be able to be with you here doing another program on Pray TV. And we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 10 today. And we're going to be reading verses 35 and 36. From the New King James Version, let this settle into your soul. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. You know, there's something so special about this portion of Scripture because it's, it's it, and we've heard many times the quotation, uh, don't cast away your confidence, for there is great reward in having that confidence. And it's very, very true. Confidence is something that really can't be artificially manufactured. If it is, it is easily spotted as a phony. Real confidence comes by doing something again and again and again until you become acquainted with it. It becomes a secure thing for you to operate in and you're functioning in this thing and it's called confidence. Confidence is important but it's not important just in and of itself. It goes on and it says, the reason that this confidence is specifically important in biblical terms is because for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God, you may be able to receive the promise. This is what it's all for that God would be able to just give us that confidence so that we would be able to receive all of the benefits, all of the blessings, all of the things that are His intentions for you and for me to walk in and to be able to live in and to be able to experience. That's God's purpose. That's God's plan. I'm going to read it one more time and then we're going to go to prayer. It says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may be able, you may receive the promise. Holy Spirit, we're asking that today we would have the confidence, Lord, that comes by knowing we are walking in your will. We are fulfilling your ways. To the best of our ability, we are being obedient to you. And it gives us that sense of confidence. Lord, our confidence is in you. It is in the blood of Jesus. It is in you, the overcomer, Lord, being the authority and the ruler and the, and the sovereign of our lives. And we're under that authority. And by being under that authority in obedience, Lord, we're not any longer in that dreaded fearfulness of, of something happening bad to us because, Lord, we're following you. We're obeying you. We're making our lives subject to you. And in so doing, you fill us with this amazing quality of confidence. Father, I pray that confidence would begin to just rest upon your people like never before. I pray that confidence would just reside in the hearts and the lives of each one of us as we press on to know you, as we press into your kingdom, as we seek to make you known by testifying to your goodness in our lives. So Lord, we pray that you will bless your people this day cause the ministry of your Holy Spirit to go forth in our lives, leading us and guiding us, Lord, into all of the ways of truth. Bless your people as they pursue you in prayer. Minister your grace to each one of our lives in a very personal, significant way. And we believe you, Lord, for you are depositing your blessing in our souls. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.